And so, uh, the man who's going to take us through the next half an hour, they've been jumping, they've had agility rounds here during the day. We're now down to the final. It is the first of our championships. Nigel, what an evening we've got. Well, what an evening we've got. What an afternoon we've had. Oh, well, welcome back to Crufts 2023, the first oh, yeah, evening of Crufts about to get underway. Jim Rosenthal here, Graham Partridge alongside me. Wherever you are watching, you are very, very welcome. And we are poised for the final of the Intermediate and Large Agility Championship. We have already had the jumping this morning, the agility this afternoon. Any eliminated dog cannot take part in this competition. What they do is a crunch the results, and here they go in the final shake-up. Looking at uh, Gary Murphy, agility judge, judging for 13 years, got three dogs in his household. So, no, so, no, so knows, uh, knows what it's all about, and we wait for the first of nine intermediate dogs, Alan Short and Beryl. Very, very fit dog, 11 years of age. Is Beryl picking up uh, five early penalties there? That will infuriate Alan from Kokodi. Taking it, setting another five penalties. Go on, Graham. And unfortunately, it's just when, it's, when it starts to go wrong, it quite often continues to go wrong because you're actually thinking about the first mistake and why it happened and, and all the causes for it. And then you stop concentrating and then you pick up another mistake and then it, it exaggerates itself. But uh, as you say, this dog's 11 years of age, uh, really is a great advert for how fit and healthy uh, doing something active with your dog like agility is. Wrong feed say, on my monitor. Lots of... Uh, here we go. Lots of twists and turns, but finishes really nicely. He'll be really pleased. Look at that. Very proud of his dog as, we, as everybody is. They, everyone thinks they've always got the best dog. Absolutely. That's got us underway in the first of uh, nine intermediate dogs and in the, in the, uh, the time 50 and uh, 18 faults as well. Here we go with Tony Smith and Phoebe, four-year-old Border Collie, a third-generation homebred Collie, up and down over the dog walk on that far side, heading towards us now, in and out of the tumble, good speed early on, yeah, excellent entry into the weeds from the right-hand side, tight, a right-hander there, in and out of the tunnel, tail flapping against the interior of the tunnel, and again, this is good, this is quick, this is just picked up the five penalties uh, so far, but it's going to be a fast round. Good contact at the end of the seesaw. Enjoying watching these two at work, Tony Smith and Phoebe from Nottingham over the long jump and through the tire to finish 36.4 and the five faults, Graham. Such a shame, she really did attack the course, uh, did a really great job here, and the dog finding those weaves perfectly. Nicely through the tire to finish. You're watching him, Border Collie, nine years of age, Ian Patstrom. Warsash near Southampton, first time at Crufts and done really well. On his first championship ticket last year too. And hoping... And already eliminated early on, Graham. Yep, very difficult there. As I say, you really do need to just keep an eye on the dog uh, and make sure that you just pull it in because the natural angle is actually taking you around the back of the jump. But uh, he'll continue on. This is really good experience for him and the dog. I think it's their first time here at Crufts, certainly with this dog anyway. Uh, and there's, there's no substitute for experience, but he's done fantastically well to get here. Well done, Ian, Pat, and him. Shame about that early elimination. We're still looking for... A clear round. Never want to see that. Pepe, Border Collie, four years of age. Amanda Ellerton from Stafford. Jumped really well this morning. And that is so quick over the dog. Well, that is terrific speed. This is a very, very rapid dog, is Pepe, but sadly too rapid. Fox going into the wheeze, but carries on through. It's got that much speed in it. It's got the ability to make up that time, perhaps. Shame about those faults. Really swift over the ground, really noisy as well. 
up and down over the A-frame. That's good and clean. Tight left-hander over the IAMs at the far end of the course. Over the seesaw two, over the U-move, right in front of our commentary position. Beautiful dog, beautifully controlled. It's a pity there's a, that five-fold blemish as it finishes through the tire. 40.2 and the, and the five folds up to second place. But she did the sensible thing. She kept going because I think we've only got nine in this class so that we could end up, she could end up winning it on five, five yep. bolts. If she does win it on five bolts, they will not award the challenge certificate. It has to be won on a clear round. Lee Gibson and Star, seven-year-old Border Collie, Lee from Shrewsbury. Won the jumping earlier on today. Lee knows this sport inside a good judge and a good competitor too. It's a fine entry and completion of the weeds. Scampering round into the tunnel underneath that A frame. Second tunnel right in front of us. This is good. This is the class of the field so far. A frame, five. Twisting over the IAMs. How about that seesaw? That's really good too. 27 28 over the U move. Big right hander. And round we come again through the tunnel for the finale over the long jump. And through the tire. 36.7. Number one. Clear round then for BC. Star, the Border Collie, and Lee Gibson. And that will set the cat among the pigeons, if I can say that at a dog show. You can. You've just said it. Backstage, because they'll all be watching the monitors, and now they know they've got to go for it. Gamble, another Border Collie, Stephen Richardson from Cumbria. They know now the time to beat 36.7 and clear. Gosh, what a round. This is good too, shaping up really well though. Stephen Richardson and Gamble. Go, come on, go, come on. You're going to have to. There's every hundredth of a second is absolutely precious. That's fine speed of contact over the A-frame. This is about the quickest we've seen, surely. This is great stuff. Over the seesaw, over the U-move. Brown we come, heading for the tunnel. Come on, come on. It's going to be inside. It's going to be inside. It is 35.8 feet. 36.7 by close to a second. This is heating up beautifully, Graham. It is, and immediately Stephen set off. You could see the urgency that he was actually trying to inject in the run. He wants that extra bit of speed. That first clear round really has, you know, got them going. Fates away, Stephanie Best, big striding dog, this one, runner-up in the agility, definitely one to watch, and Stephanie knows 35.8, and clear is the one to beat, and sadly, there's problems going into the weaves there, and that has compromised the round completely. There's just, you can't lose a hundredth of a second, let alone two or three, but uh, fate will keep going. Stephanie Best from Ringwood, professional dog agility teacher. Giving it absolutely everything despite the early problems. She still want to finish as high as she can. Well, Stephanie and Fate, and then the long jump and the tire to complete 42.0. And uh, the five falls up into the top five. A couple more still to come. Just, and of course, lost the time because that uh, was a refusal because she went the wrong side of the first pole. Had to bring it round and do it uh, correctly unless she wanted an elimination. Looking at uh, Joe Nash, Lulu, the Labrador, hugely popular on Gun Dog Day. 500 plus Labradors entered into Crux this year. And we've taken to Lulu. Great to see the six year old lad. And no slouch, I can tell you. No slouch. It's a good opening 15 seconds from Lulu through the tunnel. All looking good so far. A frame is fine. This will be in the mix for Lulu and Joe. Good work, still clear, still clean. 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37 point zero for Joe and for Lulu. Into the top three they go. That is a fantastic effort by the lab. Really pleased for her. I know uh, Jim and I, we've been talking about it most of the days. One of our favourites, and it has been. Uh, what a great effort there. Brilliant.
last intermediate dog, last year's winners, Zest, Border Collie, Handler, Nicola Wildman, time to beat 35.8, and of course, without a fall. Over the top wall they go, flying over that. Dog. That's a great leap as well into the tunnel. This is really, really quick. If they keep it going, it'll be fine. They didn't. Too quick going into the weeds. Don't want to be eliminated. Go again. It will not win. <laughs> really flew out of the traps, though, Graham. She had to. She, I mean, you know, as you say, really, really quick clear rounds in front of her. She had to go for it, really. There's nothing to be lost. Um, and, and that's what happens. You, the pressure's on. Chances are you're going to make a mistake. But really good effort, though. It's a great partnership. So they're not going to win this year, Nicola Wildman. Uh, and Zest, Oof. oh dear. And that is a elimination as well. Uh, Zest clattering into that long jump. Yeah, just uh, Nicholas stopped moving. The dog uh, didn't quite believe uh, that he wants to do the jump, clapped over. But the first thing Nicola did was make sure that the dog was all right. Yeah, I just couldn't get back in time to get that third pole. Oh dear. And he's fine. Terrific competition then. Terrific intermediate competition. And we'll just confirm the result for you in, in just a moment. There we go. Stephen Richardson and Gamble first. Lee Gibson uh, and Starr second. And Joe Nash, the lab, and Lulu in third place. The three clear rounds. Great competition though. And we'll just tidy everything up for you with the rest. So what's happening now is they're just changing the jump heights to accommodate the large dogs. Um, so it's exactly the same course. Um, it's just that the jumps are now set at the appropriate height for the large dogs. So uh, as I say, this promises to be equally as good a competition as we've just seen. First of 10 large dogs fee handler Gemma Walchester from Stoke on Trent, nine years of age. Lovely, easy dog to live with and to train. The first of 10 large dogs on show tonight. So she'll be looking to put in a, a really quick clear round to put the pressure on as she did before. She's working really hard. There's, there's a lot of tests in this course. Some quick bits as well. There we are. She's making it now. It's a sharp left turn now towards the seesaw. She'll want to try and get in front of the dog as it comes off to push it round the back of 16, which this is. Now sharp turn. Now there she comes into the tunnel and then it's a race for home. Come on, Gemma and Pete. This is going to be a great start for them. Yes, well done. Excellent stuff from Gemma Walchester from close by Stoke on Trent and Fee, the nine year old border collie. 39.9 and clean. Great images as always from the main arena here at Crufts. Beautiful stuff. Alan Bray, what he doesn't know about agility. Really experienced handler. Excellent ticket, four-year-old border collie. Ticket uh, has got two tickets as well. Difficult to know which way Alan's going to play this. He knows he's got the speed overall, I think, to beat Gemma. Um, so, but does it? How far does he push it? Because the more he pushes it, the more chances are there is a mistake coming. But he's uh, Alan's attacking the course as he always does and has been for a number of years now. He is one of the country's top handlers. And this is a good round too. This might well be the quickest of the, of the large dogs that, that we have seen in. And then long jump over that. Yep. Wow, 36.3. That's taken that's taken three seconds out of it. Alan Bray and Ticket. I don't know about the conservative round. That was a flyer, Graham. He's very deceptive. Very deceptive. But just look at that. Just shaves the top. No time lost there at all. Marita Ogilvy uh, from Bourne. Duca, six-year-old border collie. Experienced Crux competitor. Impressive form coming into this one. Uh, hoping for a top quality performance tonight. And they'll need it as well. 36.3, the time to beat and clear. Well up with it at the moment. Uh, Marita and Duca. 
Wonderful sounds, wonderful images as well. Constant soundtrack. Duke are barking our way around this really tricky course over the Ions, over the seesaw. Tight right hander over the U move. And right, this is going to be close. Right up there over that long jump. And through the tile as well. 38.6. Well done, Marita. Well done, Duca. Second place and deserved applause from our judge, Gary Murphy. Really good effort there. As I say, she's an exceptional handler. And this is a great dog. Did very, very well on what is quite a tricky course. Sean Illingworth, regular at Crufts with agent of Border Collie. Beautiful looking dog, this one, a really lovely face. Excellent, he is ready to go, when can I go? 36.3, the time to beat. Already at this early stage, that will take plenty of beating. And everyone knows it, it's a stiff task, but they're giving it their best, a Sean and agent right now. Well done, stayed away from the deceptive A-frame there. Big leap right in front of us. This is good from Sean and Agent. Sean and Agent. Nothing wrong so far. Seesaw. Quatters. Good. Good contact. Good jumping. Good pace. It's really good. Big sprint finish knee. 34, 35, 35.9 from Sean and and from Agent. Absolutely excellent. But of course, just picked up a few faults there. And that's down in fourth. Yep, such a shame there. Lovely, lovely round there from Sean. Uh, and she, she just attacks anything that's put in front of her with this dog. And the dog loves it. The more, more she pushes him, the better it is. Shannon Springford from Swanley with Fernie Nigella, five year old border collie. Bit of a wild child, this one. That's fantastic pace over the dog. Gosh, Bernie Nigella really can shift. That's about the quickest we've seen over the first 14 or 15 seconds. Can they maintain it? Shannon Springford and Fernie Nigella. Excellent over the A-frame. Keep this going, this will threaten the best for certain. Really good so far. Tight twisting turn. Then up that through the tunnel. 32, 33, 34, 35.5. 35.5. Oh, yeah. Top of the pile. Impressive, I think it's probably the word I would I would use for that. Really, really nice. She always tends to get the best out of whatever dog she handles, Shannon. Um, she's, she's an amazing motivator, and that's what you need. Chris Curtin, cop, four-year-old border collie. They're off and running. Born in Poland, now lives in and competes for Wales. Qualified for cross via the Welsh Championships. Chris, the fitness coach as well for the Kennel Club. Oh dear. Team GB. Fit he might be, but unfortunately that's a wrong course and that's a cross arms and elimination. That's sad to see because these two look really promising, Graham. Yep, such a shame. It all happened in the blink of an eye, but uh, he's done really, really well just to get here. This this pair has been an amazing improvement over the last 12 months. Um, and th 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 he's only got better things to come, really. So he'll just treat this as really good experience for him. Not really nice guy, great dog does a great job for the Kennel Club and Team GB. Well done, Chris. Donna Jarvi and Vibe from Peebles on the Scottish borders. Oh dear. Oh dear. Look, looked as though it was the wrong side, Graham. Oh, he was good. It was good. It was good. Made okay. a great recovery by the dog there. Okay, there was a groan from the crowd. There was a groan from me. You say it's good. That's good enough for me, for Donna and for Vibe. Seesaw, good. Might not quite be quick enough, but it's very, very respectable. It is. 35, 36, 36.9. Yeah, 
absolutely superb run there. Third place. So we're going to, I think we're going to have another look at these waves just to see if we can see what happened. The judge was there. So in the first two poles, ah, look at that. Good call, Graham. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not contradicting you, Graham. <laughs> and the judge is always right, and he's the guy who called it. So. <laughs> Shape, five years of age. Martin Reed, the handler. Second in the jumping this morning. Sweet girl, Martin, really successful handler too. Wow, well, that style, that proper style through the weaves from Shape. Excellent. This is shaping up really well this round. Good over the A-frame. Come on, come on, come on. Seesaw. Yep. This will be very, very close to the to the peak. Very, very close. 33, 34. 35.3 for Martin Reaver and for Shape. Very close. It's the best yet. It is. It is. He is just so deceptive. You see, the, the Shannon looked as though she was going really, really quickly. This guy looked as though he was just like almost not competing. But it's all about tightness and lines of the dog uh, to get the maximum out of it, and he's done just that. Penultimate. A large dog, Nara Cuddy, third last year, definitely one to watch with Lemon, the Border Collie, came first in the agility this afternoon. 35.3 and clear they have to be. They will have to shift and make no mistakes along the way, and they're doing just that in the first 10 seconds. Wonderful, towing the way through those weaves. This is absolutely excellent from Nara and from Lemon. Can they do it? Can they get inside? 35.3 and can they keep it clean and tidy it's all excellent first 25 seconds keep scampering keep eating up the time keep those hundreds of a second down 31 32 33 34 35.3 for nara and for lemon whoa 35.330 plays 35.328 it means second place. Two hundredths of a second. Two th yeah. And two thousandths of a second. Uh, and the person who's beaten her is her partner. So there's going to be a few arguments tonight. Two thousandths of a second. It's that close. But a fantastic run there. Uh, she'll be really pleased with that. Last large dog. Dave Munnings, really successful. Legacy, the three-year-old Border Collie, runner-up in the agility. The time to beat, 35.328. A couple of thousandths of a second, separating first and second place. And Dave knows they're going to have to be in absolute peak form with Legacy. Clearing that jump by miles. This competition has come to the boil, and it is boiling right now, really bubbling along. Just keep watching the clock at the bottom left of your screen. Sadly, picking up some faults there. Just picked up those faults. It's a really good time. 35, 35.0. It would have been the best, but for those five faults. Really, really great effort, and especially for such a young dog here. So this is not the not the last we're going to see of certainly of this dog. Uh, there's so much more to come. Great style over that, and a great big leap there. Just totally concentrating on what Dave's got doing. And we are delighted to welcome Neil Brettel, the CCO of Limp Bells, to do our presentation alongside Arena Director Mr. Nick Brooks Ward. Give them a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, first up in the intermediate, the Agility Champion 2023 with Agility Champion Mole Gamble Demonic Risk, Stephen Richardson. Oh, thank you very much. You're going to need two hands. I'll need two hands. All right, then got it. Perfect. Thank you. Got it. Yeah, done. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well done. And the reserve ticket going to. Eurostar and handler Lee Gibson. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank you.
Okay, and now we move on to our large category, the Agility Champion 2023, with Lil Hayes spring into shape, Martin Reed. <laughs> And the reserve tickets going to Agility Champion, Little Hayes, Dark Pleasure, Nara Kuni!